Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. It's Rachel Wolfson here with Cointelegraph. Today I'm doing a very special interview with Mike Thompson. Mike is a two-time Clio award-winning artist and illustrator who has made quite a name for himself in the art world. Mike has worked with some major brands including Nike, Marvel, Coke, and other well-known brands that I'm sure all of you have heard of. So it's just a pleasure to welcome Mike here today. Hey Mike, how's it going? Hey Rachel, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks so much for being here. It's such a pleasure and honor to be speaking with you. You're a very talented artist. Um, if you could just go into your background a little bit to, to tell the audience a little bit about who you are, that would be great. Absolutely, I'd love to. Thank, thank you, first of all. Um, so yeah, I am a digital artist and sculptor. I've been working in the industry for over 20 years, or really over 25 years, if I'm being honest. Um, work with a lot of different clients. I kind of started off in the t-shirt industry. So um, on the textile side, I was designing, you know, t-shirts for whatever hip hop songs were big in the summer. Uh, I won't tell you what year that was, but Summertime might have been a big song by Will Smith and uh, Jazzy Jeff at the time. So uh, <laughs> dating myself. But yeah, so I did t-shirts for a while. I started working with companies um, who were in the kind of the young men's uh, clothing space and ended up um, with a company called Echo Unlimited, which was doing a lot of really nice kind of, you know, clothing and gear and stuff like that. And so it was great because Echo had this ad campaign and they got these rappers like Method Man and DMX and all these guys to pose and they take photos of them wearing the gear. And then I would paint um, the images of them, right, for the ads. And those came out in magazines like XXL and Vibe and all that. And uh, it was it was fantastic because that allowed me to move on to start doing uh, illustration for, you know, magazines and books and movie posters and things like that. Uh, so go forward a bunch of years. I've always been a big superhero fan. I don't know if you could tell, um, but, uh, you know, I got into working with companies uh, like DC and Marvel doing package design for toys and and, you know, um, like promotional stuff like that and uh, eventually got into sculpting. And um, I mean, I've been doing a lot of stuff, doing a lot of stuff. And how did you get involved in the crypto space? So I met uh, Fred and Christina almost two years ago. And, you know, the pitch was, hey, Mike, you're doing all this great artwork. We would love to, you know, create an NFT with you and sell it on there. At the time it was an online gallery called Pixios. And so, uh, I, you know, he's explaining me to me what an NFT is. And, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And I was just like, yeah, this sounds weird. Like people are going to pay me for what they usually just steal as a JPEG. I don't, I don't know. So I kind of, I didn't do anything for a little while. And then the Beeple sale kind of happened. And I was like, oh man, let me call Fred. So uh, called him up and, um, and we got my original piece, which uh, actually was in the LA Grammy Museum. I turned that into my first NFT. It, it went up for a while and sat there until Flo announced my um, Flo announced my my uh, partnership with with them and Epics to do the uh, the icons collection, and then um, and th and then it sold. So I was like, oh man, I'm hooked. So then we're working on um, you know Fred decided he was going to form Epics with Christina and uh, and their partner uh, Mario, and so we we kind of you know went full steam ahead. We're like, all right, for this collection, you can do whatever you want to do. And I decided I wanted to put my my lifelong love of hip hop into this uh, this this set. And are there any other benefits that you want to elaborate on just having the collection virtual versus physical? I love the idea of having collections of things with me at all times. You know, like I'm a big comic book collector and I have these long boxes that are in a closet and they've been there forever. Everything's in plastic with boards and all that. You know, and video games are all like in the in the the sleeves and 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 just music walls of CDs and things like that, right? But being able to have my entire audio collection on my phone at any given moment is compelling to me, right? So like I think that that's the way we're moving with everything. And you know, I'm all for physical things as well, right? Like so the statues that are behind me, um, I, I, I love the fact that I can look at them and gain, you know, get inspiration for working on other things from those. 
we actually have something that is in the works that's going to allow you to have um, the best of both worlds. Um, so, you know, I don't want to talk about it too much, but you'll be able to combine physical with um, the unique uh, NFT uh, ID chips as well. And so that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. So if a friend of yours or a family member wanted to see it, you just hold out your phone and show them. Exactly. Exactly. Right. You know, I've got my whole comic book collection on my iPad now. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. What a world. How has the transition been going from that into the NFT world? Was it an easy transition for you to take, you know, your physical artwork and kind of make that digital or was it challenging? So it's, it's interesting because I have, um, I started freelancing back in 2004. So I've been kind of working remotely for a big chunk of my life, you know? Um, and so if you had asked me about transitioning from physical into digital, as far as artwork, um, when I first did it, it was challenging just getting used to the whole space, but I've worked that way so long that the biggest challenge with NFTs was kind of wrapping my mind around the concept of them and, um, you know, why having something that you're allowing to someone, uh, you know, you're allowing someone to have uh, ownership of something, right? So you're not only getting, uh, you know, a print of my artwork where there are a million prints, you're getting something that has a very kind of finite um, availability that you have ownership in. So it's, it's pretty exciting, you know, but it took me, it, it, that was probably the biggest part is realizing what they are. I still can't pronounce the F part in the middle, fungible, I think that's what it is, but I don't have to. So that's good. Are you doing anything to educate the public, friends, family, um, you know, children on what NFTs are? I think a lot of the world, you know, they know, they know of NFTs, but they're still mm -hmm. unfamiliar as to what they actually are. And yeah. So as an NFT artist, are you doing anything to educate um, the world on, you know, what NFTs are? Absolutely. You'd be surprised. So since Flo started talking about my collection, everybody is coming to me. So I've had to kind of ramp up my own knowledge and, and, and tell people. So I'm, I'm actually a, uh, an instructor at an online um, uh, digital art school, right? Uh, this school called uh, CG Spectrum. And I just had a kind of a panel discussion with, you know, the instructors and the teacher, like the uh, students and everyone in there about um, NFTs and, you know, creating them, how difficult is it to do it yourself and, and you know, sell them and things like that. Uh, with family members every day, you know, since, since the pre-sale of, uh, of my collection, I have been and I've been telling people every day, you know, okay, go do this, do this. I've become like a, a one of the um, the uh, the technical support guys, you know, that you you call when you can't figure something out. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 doing quite a bit of that. Um, can you explain maybe the personal benefits for you creating NFTs? For instance, you know, like you said, it allows ownership, all of that. But any any personal benefits that you want to discuss? So the biggest personal benefit for me is, so I have two kids, I have a boy and a girl and, uh, and I, and I wanted to leave some type of a, a, a legacy with them. And, you know, it's, it's one thing to, um, you know, to, to be in a Coke commercial here or do this infinity thing there or whatever. But I think creating a collection like this with the level of quality, like I, I put everything into this. And, and like I said, you know, I, I, I truly love hip hop. So I want people to get that when they see it. It's not just a cash grab. It's something that, that's near, like near and dear to me. Um, being able to create that and put that out there in a space where it can live on and sell, you know, and, and, and be traded and things like that. Like, that's a big deal for me. Um, I, I really, um, I want my grandkids to be able to look back and be like, oh man, grandpa was killing it with this thing. Um, you know, so that's the, that's the biggest thing for me. I think, you know, as a creator and an artist, it's fantastic because you have ownership in your own work. You know, like that's the biggest thing. Cool. Awesome. If people want to get in touch with you or if they want to find out more about your collection, uh, how should they do that? So my name online is um, uh, at Mike T Artworks. 
looks like Mike Tart works. I didn't think about that when I when I kind of bought that, but uh, that's what it is. I'm not a baker, uh, unless you count me cooking up all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, they can reach me on uh, Mike T Artworks. My site is 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 that. My Instagram is that. My Twitter is that without the S. So Mike T Artwork. And so yeah, you can reach me that way. But you can find me on Epics as well. Thanks for sharing those thoughts with us, Mike. It's been a great interview. It's been a real pleasure meeting you. And I'm looking forward to, you know, all of your NFT collections in the future. And I'm sure the audience is as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.